Once the gates of an immigration detention center close on asylum seekers, they may not open again for months. In an industrial area near Newark Airport, Elizabeth Detention Center houses immigrants, some of whom have committed crimes. As of September, immigration officials say there were more than 38,000 people detained nationwide under immigration offenses. Some of them are asylum seekers. Security screening is similar to an airport checkpoint. Visitors must show identification, leave belongings in a locker, no phones, no pictures, no recording of any kind. These pictures were drawn after a tour by Rutgers University PhD student Christine Iskerson. Elizabeth was where Adolf Akor was held for five months. I was told by immigration that they don't have um, an housing for immigrants who are not documented, uh, uh, arriving alien. So I was um, told I was going to be taken to a jail. Akor is from Nigeria, where he was working as an activist for a gay group. But in Nigeria, same-sex marriage is against the law. In October 2016, he won an award from a New York human rights organization that published his photograph and exposed him. So the community were calling for my execution, so I had to flee. So I, I had a U.S. visa, and that was the only travel document I had, which I had to travel with it. I've never been in that kind of isolation before. You are instructed what to do and what not to do. And you are giving a food to eat, whether you like it or not, you have to just do it. So Charlie stayed in the room having anxiety of what will be the outcome of my case. If I lose, I'll be returned to my country. If I win, so be it. When will I be released? I was depressed because my family and I do not have communication because they do not accept me because of my sexual orientation. Okpur was granted asylum and has already begun his new life in America. He has three jobs. I produced a cookbook which featured 40 refugees from different countries around the world. Aleni Barrows, VOA News, Newark, New Jersey.